So the YouTube algorithm has been suggesting to me all kinds of reviews of the La Labo City exclusives from fragrance reviewers I never heard of. All of them glowingly recommend them. These are also great. You got to get their hands on them. And I thought, are these just kind of clickbaity videos? Do they get a lot of views? And I thought I'd take a second to talk about my experience with the City exclusives. As you can see, I do own one, Gaiac 10. At the time, I was rather new to niche fragrance. I had worn Dior fragrances. I really liked Comme des Garçons Wonderwood. So I quite liked Gaiac 10 because of its sort of woody, polite character. It does have a nice sort of green wet woods uh, feel to it with a very light incense. I wouldn't call it an incense fragrance, but there's like a hint of, I think of like a puff of clean white smoke involved. Now it is probably my number one compliment getter. And I hate this term. I hate wearing fragrance for compliments. I don't want people to notice my scent. I don't want them to tell me about it. But several people said, oh, you smell so good when wearing this. And I think it's the ISO E catnip to humans factor. If you've ever worn Molecule One, people tell you how they get tons of compliments after they thought the fragrance had disappeared. Also, ironically, when I went to refill this bottle, I actually wore through a whole 50 ml and got it refilled. Um, the sales associate told me, oh, this contains lots of ISO E, like it's some sort of special impressive ingredient. It's like, I don't know, a chef at a fine restaurant telling you, oh, this meal contains lots of, you know, sucrose <laughs> um, or corn syrup. Uh, anyway, uh, I bought this in January 2017, it says. So once you buy the original, you can have it refilled any time of year. So obviously they have the juice sitting around. And this is what really drives me crazy about the city exclusives. The prices are out of this world and they raise it every every single year, every September it goes up more than the last year. I think I paid 260 for this, which is a lot for a simple ISO E based woody fragrance. And now it's even more, I think something getting close to 500 for 100 ml, which is just ridiculous. In that price range you're competing with uh, people like Roja, who's, he's not my favorite, but at least the things really smell like their expensive Lux perfumes. These smell like most of the other Lilabos, there's no special ingredient in them that makes them more expensive. It's pure marketing that you're paying for. It's a false sense of manufactured exclusivity made by the brand. It's a pretty genius marketing gimmick because every September people get re-excited about the same crappy fragrances that they pulled out last September that are overpriced. Everybody talks about them. They get all this free marketing without having to really create new fragrances and they get to jack up the price because they uh, you know, play into people's FOMO. So I highly don't recommend getting them. I've tried most of them. I haven't tried some of the newer ones. I've got a little sample of Queer. So in here, got lots of samples of the Lavo. <laughs> so the only Lavo I ever bought was Gaia 10. Um, I like Neroli, I like the Oud, I like Vetiver, but most of them kind of either are just too simple for the price too much kind of mainstream aroma chemical for the price, uh, or they kind of fall apart in the dry down. I find that with Vetiver. Vetiver has a really nice opening, but the dry down is just weak and unimpressive and boring. Um, so I don't know. I tried the Hong Kong one last year and I liked it. It's sort of a like a petrichor, citrus, woody thing. Everything is, you know, has this woody, musky base which to me, it's just ISO E in the base of everything. Save yourself some money and get maybe one of the Molecule Plus fragrances. I don't know. Um, anyway, if they were half the price, some of them might be interesting. None of them smell bad, but I just think it's ridiculous and it really turns me off to the brand, the way they jack up the prices so much and so much every single year getting higher and higher for fragrances that you know ultimately are not that special. Um, but like but I said, like it gets said, a lot of hype. hype. Seems, Seems like, like every little, little YouTube, YouTube fragrance reviewer, reviewer publishes, publishes a video and tells you how great they, they are, are, which I think which is I think pretty, pretty irresponsible, irresponsible to, to you know, tell your, tell your audience, audience that this is worth the money. money. Uh, uh, I, replied I replied to some of these videos and they and often they reply in shock that they didn't know it was so expensive. What the hell? You're recommending fragrances, you don't even know how much they cost. 
Most of these people, they haven't bought one themselves. They probably haven't been gifted one because the lab was super cheap. They just bought the uh, discovery set, bought a few uh, samples so you know they could pop up a video and get views. So anyway, Labo City exclusives, do not recommend. Spend your money elsewhere. I don't know, take a vacation, book a flight to Hawaii. Uh, don't buy a 100 ml of ISOE. Ridiculous.